That's right, it's Andy here with a travel tech review. And today we are talking about the, this is not a Tic Tac or floss thing, sorry, the Apple AirPods. Now, you may have seen like Gary Vaynerchuk and some other people, Marques Brownlee and people like that, walking around with these little uh, ear pod looking things, but they don't have wire on them. And Apple came out with these late last year, 2016, depending on when you're watching this video. And they said they were gonna revolutionize the ear pod and they called it the error pod. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, there's a, a lot of technology packed into these things and I wanna figure out if it makes sense for the frequent flyer, makes sense for the frequent traveler. Uh, so I wanted to get a pair of these and I wanted to test them out and review for you. Uh, I sent an email to Apple, they don't respond uh, to request for demo units. And so I've just been looking for uh, a pair to purchase. And to be really honest with you, it's been really hard to find a pair. Um, I wasn't really sure how well these were going to sell, uh, but it turns out they've very much outpaced demand and Apple is just now, almost nine months later, getting to a spot where they can actually have a consistent supply. Uh, but do they make sense for the traveler? Uh, you've heard me talk about my affection for the Bose QC35 noise canceling headphones, and those are fantastic for airplanes, for um, being at home trying to concentrate, but I can't really wear them at work because sometimes people need to pay, you know, need to get my attention. Uh, so are these better for that? Well, well, let's, let's take a look. So I want to give you three reasons that I think these are a very, very good option uh, for a traveler and especially for the everyday working professional. Uh, and then I'll give you a couple things that I don't really like about them. Uh, but first off, let's talk about, I mean, are these just Bluetooth headphones or, or do they have any other sort of technology in them? Uh, and the answer it has, it's a lot more than meets the eye. Let's first, let's talk about how easy it is to pair them with your iPhone. So it's pretty easy. You just open the case up next to your phone. It senses the AirPods, you just click connect and well it connects that's kind of it now if you just like to use them as bluetooth headphones with another device you can do that so they are bluetooth headphones but if you have an iphone they're a little more than that uh, or any other apple device past a certain version the second thing is just how seamlessly it integrates into the iphone experience so for example, if I put on some music, I go into Spotify and I have uh, Dream Theater uh, up on the Spotify playlist. I'm gonna hit play. And I can tell that it's playing through my AirPods right now because it says so at the bottom. But let's say I'm at the office, I'm jamming, I'm working on some spreadsheets or whatever, and somebody comes up and they need to ask me a question. Well, what you normally have to do is, you know, take your headphones out and then you know, hit pause on your you know, computer or whatever so you don't lose your, your place. But whenever I pulled this out, the music automatically stopped. So this has accelerometers in it. So it gets a sense for when it's in your ear and when it's not. And so if I put it back in, it starts playing again right where it left off. So it's one of those small things that's very Apple. And I guess that's really the only way to put it. Uh, it's actually kind of distracting trying to talk and listen to uh, Dream Theater, especially at the same time. Uh, but it's one of those very Apple things that they are pretty legendary for is just the, the seamless integration of the user experience. Uh, so for that, I definitely give it a uh, very, very top marks. Now, uh, these are also very solid for uh, making phone calls. So if somebody calls you and you have them in, you can answer the phone call without taking your uh, phone out of your pocket. And this has noise canceling uh, elements in it to uh, remove sort of the background noise and make sure you can pay attention to what your uh, caller is saying. And then it has little microphones in here so you can talk back to them uh, very easily as well. Now, another thing uh, that you can do is with, you have the ability to double tap. Now, when you double tap, the default activity is bringing up Siri. And you can tell Siri, hey, play some music. You can tell Siri, hey, uh, edit this video to put on my YouTube channel so it doesn't take me too long. Uh, or you can set that activity to, I want to play music or I want to rewind or, or I want to go to the next song. So you have some customization available when you want to do the little double tap uh, on your ear. Now, something else that I really like, uh, and this goes with where I sit in my office at work. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back in the case. And 
by the way, that's how you charge these things. Uh, you put them in the case, and the case has a little USB-C uh, little plug right here. So you plug the charger in, and that's what charges the AirPods. And then you can, uh, this holds, I think, five charges of your AirPods, and these get about five hours of heavy use. Uh, some people report a lot longer than that. I've gotten, I mean, I haven't kept them in my ears all day, and I usually put them back in the charger. But this thing can carry spare charges as well, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, if I have this headphone in this little charger case and I'm listening to music at the office and this is getting into kind of audio nerd stuff, uh, but you have, you have a mono signal, which is just one signal where you're getting all of the sound going through one channel and then most headphones would split that into two channels. You also have stereo uh, signals uh, or stereo songs uh, or mixes, if you will, where a, a different, like different, things are being broadcast to the left ear than they are the right ear. And it's really frustrating, especially when you're listening. I have a really, like, I love progressive rock and progressive metal and stuff like that. So Dream Theater being an example of that. If they're, if they're doing like a blistering, like, guitar solo with keyboard solo kind of in harmony, usually the guitar will be in one ear and the keyboard will be in the other ear. Well, that's great until I'm listening at work and I usually have one uh, headphone kind of off my ear in case somebody needs to get my attention. That way they don't have to like throw a stapler at me or anything like that. Uh, so one little thing that I think I'm really going to enjoy, and I have been enjoying it so far, is if you, it knows you only have one headphone in. And so when you do that, it will broadcast a stereo signal. It will basically combine both of those signals and send it to your one earpiece. And I've tried it out again with Dream Theater, uh, breaking all illusions if you're curious, and it sent a perfect stereo signal to my right ear. So that in and of itself is fantastic. That makes it a lot more usable for me at work uh, than my Bose QC35s, for example, where I'd have to like take one earpiece all the way off. And granted, I don't have much hair, but it would make the back part of my hair just look all crazy because part of it would just be sticking up like that from that headband. Uh, so that is very, very, very cool. So the third and final thing that I just really love about these AirPods is the uh, the ear feel. Now, I have very, like, I think narrow ear canals, and so certain headphones work for me, certain headphones don't. And I was worried about these. These are not cheap. These are around $160 if, they, if you're in the United States. And the air or the ear pods the wired versions they would tend to slip and fall out of my ears every once in a while uh just because i have smaller ear canals than than this uh or than those but with these they've just stayed in there really well uh so i like it from that standpoint it feels comfortable uh it it, it takes a little bit of getting used to because i'm used to having a very kind of soft rubberized or, or over the ear headphones. And so you have this hard plastic, it'll take your ear a little bit of time to get used to. But once you get used to it, it's, it's almost kind of hard to remember they're there, which I think is probably the best compliment you can pay to the design element that Apple uh, performed on this. And Apple is all about design uh, and you pay for that design. But they did a really good job on these. Now let's move on to just a couple things that I do not like about my Apple AirPods. Now just, as a reminder, I purchased these on the open market. They cost $160. I paid for them with my own money. Uh, and so that's why I can give you an honest review about it. Um, when it comes to these AirPods, I, I told you just like 30 seconds ago how comfortable they feel and how sometimes you don't even realize they're there. Well, there's a temptation to become one of those people who walks around with these things in their ears the whole time because it so seamlessly integrates between your phone experience and your life experience and like a phone call experience, taking one of these out, leaving the others in. You can really kind of confuse your brain with how much you're asking it to do. And, and so the temptation is to just leave them in when you need them and, uh, and take them out when you don't. But it, the temptation is just to leave them in all the time. And uh, to be honest, I don't like having something in my ear the whole time. They're easy to forget about, but that's almost a bad thing. So it's not really a criticism of Apple. It's more about how I use them. But I think the temptation is there to keep them in your ears at all times. And who knows what, what effects that's going to have. Uh, the, the second thing is how easy these little things are to steal. So if I'm sitting here like this and I'm listening at a... So I'm headed to South America next week. So if I'm sitting at a street side cafe in South America, phone's in my pocket, 
and I'm just relaxing, reading a book. Some guy walks by, just grabs one of them, psh, he's gone. There is nothing I can do. This thing is very, very tiny. Now, it sticks out of your ear just a little bit, about you know a couple centimeters or about half an inch or so. Uh, so it's not, you can't really tell from behind that somebody's listening to them, but if somebody's coming by this way, it's, they're really easy just to like smack somebody in the side of the head and knock them out. And granted, it'd be hard to get both of them, but man, these things, if you're not paying attention to your surroundings, uh, it's, they're, they would be very easy to steal. And I mean, when you're dealing with something this small, this charger thing, there's no way to charge these without this charger. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious how much this is going to sell for if they ever decide to sell it by itself. Uh, so easy to lose, easy to steal. Those are two concerns. Now, the obvious response or rebuttal to that, uh, I can hear you screaming, Apple, uh, is, well, don't lose them. You know, easy enough, right? Uh, but the second, you know, about, the, about being easy to steal, I think that, that calls more than ever for you know, if you're on a street side cafe, you want to take this one out, leave it in the charger. And there is this resounding little click when you put it in the charger. That's just so nice. A little magnetic little clip there. So leave that one in the charger and then have this one there. So that way you can still keep kind of an ear out for what's out there in the real world. So I do have some things that I dislike about these. Uh, but overall, I think it integrates so well with the iPhone experience. And I, I've been using iPhones for probably eight years now. I mean, it's long enough where I'm not going to change to Android anytime soon. Uh, but, but I think with, with Apple's new W1 chip, which powers these things and makes that connectivity so easy between uh, your phone and these AirPods, I think it's a winner. I think it's, it's a great product. I'm surprised by how much I liked it. I didn't want to like it, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it ended up being a really cool experience. And I think where Apple's always gonna win is on user experience. They're not gonna be the fastest, they're not gonna be the quickest, they're not gonna be the most up to date. Um, but usually when you use an Apple product, it's just going to work. And that's what they say over and over and over again in all of their big uh, product reveals. It just works. I mean, it really does. So. Anyways, that is my travel tech review of the Apple AirPods. If you are interested in more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, leave me comments. Are you interested in these AirPods? Do you have them? Uh, what do you think? Are these overpriced? Am I just a, a schmuck for buying these? What do you think? I want to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. The wireless future we've been working towards for many years, where technology enables the seamless and automatic connection between you and your devices.